Uh, yeah, I think that was huge for us. Um, probably one of our most complete efforts of the year so far, um, defensively, offensively. Um, yeah, we were on tonight and we played well. And um, there's obviously some things we want to clean up, but for a full 60, that was a that was a pretty good effort from us. Nico, you've, um, you've had some tough puck luck lately. How important was it just to see the puck go in for you? Have I? I don't know. <laughs> I think they're getting chances every game, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, obviously, it's nice to help the team that way. What, what can either of you say about what the Congress play? It might look like he was, he was everywhere. Yeah, I think that's just what we expect of him. Um, just be a tenacious four checker. Um, he likes to get under guy's skin, and it's, it's nice to see. And uh, when he's moving his feet, and you know, his stick is so good, and he's so active with it. So, um, you know, you can see from the shorthanded goal, that's what he can bring to our team, and, and that was great to see. For both of you, uh, another night, another injury, uh, both situations. How concerning is it now? Yeah, obviously, he's a important player for us. So, so let's hope. Uh, I haven't heard anything yet, but let's hope it's not nothing serious. Uh, so that's all we can do now. Even with Bo and Nate out, what does it do for you guys' confidence finally starting to get a bunch of guys back in the lineup? Yeah, I think it started in our practice habits a few days ago. We had a couple of days here without a game, and uh, we got a few good practices in. And uh, you know, our practice habits were great. Those two practices that we did have, and I think that really translated tonight. What happens all the time, and, and uh, it, was, it wasn't a close game, but what was it like going to quiet for both? Uh, you know, you roll with it. I think we've we've had those opportunities to to roll with five and have to have to do that. Obviously, it's not ideal. Um, but it definitely helped with a little bit of a lead there to just kind of relax things back there and not have to worry too much about matchups. But, um, you know, we'd prefer six healthy guys, but if we, if we have to do five, we'll get the job done. A couple more. What was working well for you guys power play tonight? I think we saw power play. I think both units were, were playing really well. Uh, Taser's unit got the big goal for us, the first one. And, and uh, I think we only had two, I guess we had five mid-major, but, I think we were we had some meetings about that too. It hasn't been good enough at all. So, so uh, it was a step forward, and now we just have to stay consistent on that. Good contribution from pretty much everybody tonight, even some extent, and obviously. But um, you talked about your depth since the start, and kind of showed it tonight. Yeah, I think that's coming with a little bit of health too. Um, all the way through the lineup, we're getting a little deeper and um, guys are finding the roles and, and chemistry and whatnot. So um, our job now is just to keep it going and, and string some together here. Just one performance isn't good enough. Just the way he uses his body, you know, he's a big, big guy and can skate really well and brings like a another physical player into the into our lineup and uh he's a he's a big part like you saw in the goal you know he doesn't he's not afraid to go the in front of the net where the most of the goals are scored so big part of the team thank you thank you yeah helmer got the puck there in the middle i think it you know got blocked or something um i was sort of calling for him to like let's get on our horse there and he made a great play just bumping it over and i mean that all starts with him you know beating his guy up the ice and giving me the opportunity because i really didn't have a play there besides sliding it over to him so uh he made a great play getting up the ice there he does yeah for sure no i mean his skating that's what he's been known for throughout his career um, so he's done a great job with that, adjusting to our system. And I think he's just getting more and more comfortable. And you're seeing that with those, you know, plays there and getting up the ice and transitioning from defense to offense, like he said. Definitely, you know, knew he's a, a great kid. Um, he's got a good head on his shoulders. He always wants to learn. He comes to the rink with a great attitude. I think that's, you know, a big part of it. As a young guy, people go through ups and downs. You know, he was in the minors for a bit there. I think he he grew a lot as a person, as a player, getting that confidence and came in here and, you know, he made an uh, impact right off the bat there with the goal early. Um, he really started that off the play to uh, Nas, helping Val get that goal. So it's been, you know, great playing with him the last couple of days in practice. And I think we'll hopefully continue to, Built some more chemistry going forward, but he's done a great job here lately. 
Definitely, yeah, no, he's a quick player. He's speedy, especially in the corners. If he gets tight turning and he gets a demon on his back, you know, he makes great plays. And I think you're going to continue to see that going forward as he gets more and more comfortable. You know, as a young guy, there's definitely a learning curve off the bat. But every game in practice, you can see uh, that comfort level and confidence has, you know, definitely been huge for him. Yeah, G was great. I mean, just moving his feet all over the ice, offensively, defensively, closing on pucks. You know, that's obviously where the transition game starts is closing on pucks defensively. And then he's a guy that can get up the ice quickly and make plays um, in the offensive zone. He's obviously pretty shifty and good on his edges. So, you know, he's he was great tonight and he's been great for us all year. So we need to continue to see that from him. He had a lot of jump out of the gate. Do you attribute that to the break or, or what would you do? The break definitely helps. We uh, we harped on that in video a bit and in our meetings just come out to a good start because we've gotten down here lately a couple times and then we're, you know, fighting back throughout the game. So having a good start off the bat is, is huge, especially coming back home at altitude. You know, those guys have had a couple more games as of lately and we've had the, that couple day break, like you mentioned. So I think all those things attributed to uh, the hot start that we had and we have to continue to do that going forward. I think we set a standard for ourselves as a team with that first period, especially, you know, the second and third, we got away from it a bit, but I think we got to continue to uh, focus on those things that we, we did in the first. For sure. Yeah. Confidence is definitely building. I feel as though my chances have been there throughout the year. Um, I got to bear down on those chances a bit more to capitalize on those opportunities like tonight um, and just continue to do that, you know, focus on my identity as a player and that'll hopefully help our team have more success going forward. And, you know, that's being tenacious on pucks, good forechecking offense or defense leads to offense type thing. And the penalty killing side of things as well is starting to come. So all those things can contribute to, uh, you know, more confidence going forward. And yeah, it's been good so far. Definitely. I try and pride myself on being like an energy type player. Um, I feel as though our team needs that within the lineup is, you know, crashing bodies and always, you know, making an impact in the game. It might not be scoring every night. You know, there's other guys that are, you know, do the job there. But if not scoring and being good offensively, being smart defensively, being hard on pucks, good on the penalty kill, finishing checks, good stick. I think the little things are, you know, what's uh, gotten me to this point in the game with my intangibles. So I got to continue to do that going forward and grow that side of things. And then offensively, you know, things will continue to come and hopefully bear down on some of those chances going forward. He, uh, yeah, he tripped me the other day. That was a tough one. That was a tough sweep by uh, North Dakota against Denver. So uh, hopefully we can get him back later on in the year. Thank you, Olivia. Thanks guys. No, I don't. He'll get reevaluated in the morning. Well, you, the concern would be seeing it, see what it was, and in yeah. the past, would be concerned about it being better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it a confession? I don't know. Like, they'll reevaluate him in the morning. You know, he left the game because, you know, because of the hit, and they'll reevaluate him in the morning and just see what he, you know, what the symptoms are and if he has any. Was he feeling uh, I haven't seen him post game. Um, what did you think <clears> of the team effort overall tonight, especially after what you were Liked it a lot. Yeah, liked it a lot. Much tighter defensively. You know, we talked the other day about making sure that our defending details were in place. That's one. And the work within those details has to be there and the competitiveness. It was. And then number two, we have to manage the puck better. And I thought, especially early on in the game, that we were outstanding with that. Did you need a win like, like that? Yeah, I, I think we did. I think it's uh, because, well, not just because of the score, but because of all the things that we've been, you know, we're, we're fortunate that it was slow schedule and we got two really good practice days. We were able to dissect our games against Columbus. We were able to um, not just show them, but actually go out and get reps that we needed. And, um, you know, we had some guys still nursing injuries and we kind of forced them into the two days of practice and they understood why. That's why we went optional today because we want, we need our guys to get some reps to work on some of that stuff. And um, they were really good at the things that we worked on. We got power play and penalty kill time on both days. And I thought our special teams, you know, our power play wasn't 
spectacular, but it got us two goals and could have had us more. So it was dangerous enough to, and it made an impact, especially early in the game with the Nachushkin goal. That's a big goal. Um, so just sort of, I would say today we put the whole package together, you know, it reminds me a little bit of the Tampa game. Um, you know, so we've done it a couple of times now, but I mean, the picture should be getting clearer and clearer for our players that this is the way we have to play and in order to have success. And I think they're buying into that. So getting a 7-1 win and playing the right way and with the right habits and, and sustaining it over for the better part of 60 minutes, I think is really important for them to get those results. What would you say, Alex, about what he's doing right today that can go into the drop off? Well, I liked him a lot more assertive for sure, quicker in all areas, defensively, offensively, jumping into plays, um, trying to make an impact. Um, the first time he was up, it was too, I don't know if safe's the right word, casual, you know, wasn't impactful enough. You know, I don't, I don't know, those probably aren't the best words, but it's just, there's a certain, a specific, uh, noticeable difference in his game tonight than when he was here before. More confident, you know, to, he's, he had the puck on his stick uh, more tonight than he had in all of his other games combined. Obviously, Bo goes down tonight, uh, but Dave said that getting some of those guys back and having you know, closer to a full roster in practice really helped them feel more comfortable tonight. Do you think that made a difference for you? Uh, yeah, for sure. The back, it all starts on the back end for me. I mean, the forward work was really good, especially early. It gets um, the reloads and guys above the puck allow our D to stay up. I thought they were outstanding at that, especially in the first period. I felt like our gaps got a little bit looser and looser as the game went on. And um, I guess that's expected a little bit because of the score. I like what we were pushing to try and keep them going the right way. Um, and then just the, the cleanliness of our breakouts, I thought were really good tonight. Guys finding the middle, guys turning up themselves, using their partner, seemed like there was a little bit better communication coming out of our zone. And then in the second period when they had a, you know, a few shifts where they pushed, I thought we handled it pretty well defensively and didn't give up a lot. So we weren't giving up these, you know, home run plays and we weren't turning the puck over all the time that led to scoring chances against and you see what happens right the shots are come back to the realm of where we like them the scoring chances against are in the realm we like them and when we do that we create more offensively and it, it, it's really clear to me I think it's really clear to some of the guys that have been here over the years but getting the whole team buy in is what's you know kind of been taking a little bit of time. Um, the practice reps and having those guys in practice is important because even when we had guys coming up and, and you've seen some of our, our practice days over over at Family Sports that, you know, we got three or four guys that can't skate because they got nagging injuries and even though they're playing through games, it, it's, it's tough to work on your five on five game when you have 14, 15 skaters, you just can't do it, or you're just going to burn out your your 6D that are healthy or 5D that are healthy for the game. So we've lacked some of that time, even though we've been quiet for a little bit here. But that's why I think this week was so important, and we're going to carry it into next week too. And again, then after that, it's going to look a lot like last year. It's game every second day and no rest and probably very little practice time. So we have to get our game in order and keep growing it here over the next couple of weeks. The last one, Terry. Kind of belittle the premise of the question as I asked it, and apologize for it. But yeah. talk, he was out there. You got 52 man beaten blocks now. Are you is that it? Did, did anything you 52? <laughs> felt feels like double that. <laughs> it, are you confident that there's nothing you can do? I mean, the guy getting hit in the head has nothing to do with it. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it's conditioning um, because we test our guys thoroughly at training camp and we've like our guys are putting in the work like they're hard working guys and they've all come in in really good condition I was actually impressed with the way our guys came into camp um you know we've had some nagging groin stuff but our guys are all on maintenance programs and strengthening programs and and haven't had problems before it's just it's just sort of the nature of the game they, the injuries come in different ways in different times and you know it seems like when you get one you get a bunch and every team goes through it we're just going through ours now you know vegas is going through theirs now and 
hopefully we can get healthy and, and get the band back together and, and, and keep playing some good hockey. But regardless of who's in the lineup, we have to, you have to play the right way, do the right things and continue to strive to get better. And it's opportunities for guys that, that we've recalled and that are playing pretty well and doing their job. It just, it, it just squeezing, squeezes your margin for error a little bit every night when you're missing top guys. And unfortunately to this point in the season, our, our injuries have all been from, top producing guys and, and, and top producing D and guys that play a lot of special teams for us. So things have been juggled a little bit. It's no excuse. It's no excuse. Other teams are getting it done with less than they normally do. And uh, so we have to be better and, and hopefully we're moving in that direction. Last one, Peter. Just in general, how much more does this defense, this group of defense think like when John Faye is alive? I can't even describe it. Yeah, he's such an important player for us. Just the calming presence, presence, the poise with the puck, power play, penalty kill, intelligent, intelligent player, and great skater. So um, elite defender, like top-notch puck mover. I mean, it just helps. Every, and you see even today, like not just Taser, but like Val's impact on the game tonight, not just because he scores in the power play, but just his ability to – to, to play the right way and track the puck and his habits. It's, it makes a big difference. Now you bump OC down the line and all of a sudden that line looks better. It, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta find a way to carve out points without, without the injury, or even if you have the injuries, you, you have to be able to do that. It's a long year though. Thank you, Jared. All right, thanks guys.